is just fantastic. Captain's Log, Subdates 211227.8 With Moistwas now over, the food consumed, the drinks obliterated, and all the gifts exchanged, it's time to close the pesky holodeck program, remove the decorations, and get the scutter bork to clean the entire Arcadia. Haha, <laughs> sucks to be it. Okay, people, it's over. We've survived, I know, not the coof, I meant moistmas. So we're back into full swing, and I'm going to ease you in with something sent to me by first underscore cynic on Twitter. Omegon, want another possible Karen? Now, I haven't replied to you, and I'm very sorry about that. But the answer is always, Yes, I want them, yeah because I've got nothing better to do, quite frankly. But also, seriously, I'm a little tired, and a little comic relief will certainly help in the non-existent r and we are all deserving of. This Karen comes courtesy of ATL Uncensored. The annoying thing about the two-minute video is, it's got a watermark or a stamp right across the middle of it, which makes this incredibly frustrating. But we're going to go through the video, so we can best understand whether or not today's entry is or is not a Karen, which, if she is, based on comments on the last few Karens we've done, would mean that we would then become 8-8. Even Stevens. We are balanced. Which means, yes, we do need to find more that are Karens so we can squash the other pretenders into the ground. Yes, you are. Yeah, you're but you're fucking right. mad Who invited I'm you? Eating, to come I'm eating, I'm eating, and I can... Drink your ass, ass up. up. Don't you, you dare to talk to me like that. God damn it. You stand, you stand, you stand, you step up. Stand your ass up. Oh no, we're in the territory of whether or not mask wearing should be compulsory on certain flights or all flights or wherever you are in the world. Have we not gotten to the stage where you should just wear them in your own home anyway? Your bubble is insufficient. You know what you should do? Live your lives in Zorbs. Can you imagine people trying to get on a plane with those? You won't need seats. You just need to know that you're two meters apart uh, is um, Zorb friendly. Now, as you can see from that clip, we don't really have too much in the way of context as to what instigated this in the first place. But one can safely assume it is because the older gentleman is not wearing a mask, which is a tad ironic considering the person who is also in that exchange, the alleged Karen, is also not wearing a mask. Well, that's good enough for me. I guess this video is over early. Fantastic. I'm, of course, joking. There's a minute and 20 left, and it gets really juicy. I'm going to insert something now, though. Many commenters wondered if the female in this video had perhaps had too much to drink, coupled with her holier-than-thou attitude, which you'll get to, and you'll understand why in a moment. Maybe it was exacerbated because alcohol-induced being the more obvious. Is it down there, see? Ma'am. Pussy, no, you're the pussy. Oh, no, you're I the damn. So the alleged Karen in question has been told that the police will meet her on the ground if she doesn't calm down. She's been given due warning. Does she want them there? She looks directly at the person in question, mask below her chin, while having a go at someone else for not wearing a mask so she can eloquently articulate how little she cares about the rules because she, being a diligent citizen, is above the rules herself. One rule for me, but not for thee, remember? Decides to ignore the fact that that has been offered to her if she doesn't calm down and to continue berating the older gentleman because he refuses to mask up. Sounds to me like you don't have your priorities right. As you are on the flight as well, clearly you were intent on going somewhere. What is it with these reactionary types who don't seem to think about the consequences of their own actions? More notably, the negative consequences that they seem to forget because apparently a grander point needs to be made and they choose that hill, they will die on that hill or be escorted off a flight, which was their hill. Sir. We on this channel do not condone violence in any kind, variety, form, or shape. Now, with that all said, you've got to admit that slap was quite pathetic. But that slap was a step further than quite a few of the Karens we've covered before. But also, as an earlier comment had been made, the comment being, the police will be on the ground waiting for you, ma'am. You know where this goes next. Because that is, by definition, no matter how weak the hit, assault. Assault has a consequence, doesn't it, now? Yeah, you're going to jail. That's assault. You're going to jail. As soon as we get it later, you're going to jail. 
You're going to jail, bitch. Oh, so they're mid-flight. Now that's interesting. Very interesting. I didn't know that detail. Now there was a second reason I paused it here. The reason why is because the next bit is another escalation and I wanted you all braced for it. It's very exciting, I know. But sometimes you just need to build up. You see, the man can't hit her. If he struck her, the vast majority of the passengers on that flight would be on him. Because she's attacking him and he's not attacking her, it is still unacceptably accepted as okay. So when she crosses lines, people will sit there and do nothing because they know the moment you lay a hand on her, she will turn it into the biggest sob story victim call known to exist. You can tell when some people are bitch made. Exhibit A is with what she does next. So let me get this straight. You approach a gentleman on a flight because he's not wearing a mask. The mask is designed to prevent moisture from being spread about because that moisture is how certain things are transferred, transported, spread around to other people. Don't get me started on the whole mask thing. Honestly, I could be here for days. You approach the gentleman, remove your mask to below your chin, angrily assert that he needs to put his on to protect everyone else, of course, on the flight. When you don't get your way and he calls you a Karen, people laugh. You continue to ignore requests to sit down because the police will be waiting for you at the end of the flight if you don't stop. You then smack him. When he then calls you a pussy and a Karen, you then do the one thing that would surely contradict everything you claim to be standing for by spitting in his face. Is this the part where you tell me he didn't know the way, Bruder? Because everything else tells me so far, you are a massive hypocrite and you became it the moment you crossed the very line you claim to be on the other side of. How gauche. Hey, spit on me. Well, it is nice to eventually see the staff on that plane do something about the alleged carrot. Perhaps also get the gentleman in question to calm down, although he has been slapped and he has been spat on. Took, took, because he didn't know do we. But let's not forget here, this person is still not relenting. She still believes she's in the right. And instead of just leaving it to the staff, which is another relevant point to make. She could have taken this to the staff and left it be. But the risk of catching the kiss <laughs> is too much of a risk for Karen, allegedly. Look, she punched me. Put your fucking mask on. Tell him to put his mask on. Put your fucking mask on. She, she scratched my face. I'm one of the fuck Put your fucking mask on! Put your fucking mask put on! Put yours on, bitch! I So I bet some of you are now wondering what happened to the female passenger, the alleged Karen. Because there is a fate, we don't know if it's fully reached its destination, a conclusion perhaps, but there was a rather amusing ending to it. As far as the gentleman goes, I'm not entirely sure if he was made to put on a mask for the remainder of his journey, or if he had taken it off while he was consuming something. In the United Kingdom, if you use public transport, you are permitted to remove your mask if you are consuming food or drink. I don't know if that's a thing in Atlanta. So what happened to the alleged Karen? Well... He went crazy on the airplane. Punched this man in the face, spit on him, scratched oh, yeah. him. Yeah. It is more than likely that she would have gotten a warning for her behaviour on that flight. It is also possible if the airline wanted to, they could in fact have her banned from using their services ever again. So I doubt she'll ever spend any time in the ISO cubes. But that's mostly because we can't be bothered to put people who don't wear masks or spitting and slapping into an ISO cube. We'd much rather send them to Titan, where they could do manual labour for a length of time, determined by a D20. Each side is a year. Best of luck. So now we've reached the stage of the video where we have to decide whether or not this lady is a Karen. And like the predecessors, I now have to say I believe this is a Karen. But I do think the better way of ascertaining whether or not this is a Karen should fall on your shoulders. 
Yes, I'm shirking responsibility. Shocker. So please do let me know in the comments down below if you believe this is a Karen or not. If it is, within this series, it would then become 8 Karens to 8 non-Karens. As a final thing, I shall be streaming on Twitch tonight some Euro Truck Simulator 2 because I'm exciting. If I don't see you there, it is linked in the pinned comment all the sources as well. I hope you'll have a fantastic day and thank you all very much for listening. Thank you.